Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the C Android version 4.5 for our Galaxy J7 2016, and I'm going to talk about what changes have been done in this build. So let's take a look directly. So by starting with the launcher, we get the same old launcher. We don't have any like Pixel 2 XL launcher. It's the Pixel 2 launcher, but the uh, Android Oreo one with this Google Feed 2. Let's now go into the settings into the system into about phone and you can see here it's a android, android version 4.5 and july security patch 2 with the vendor security it's just done by samsung it's august 1 2017 because it's my basement also it's pqh2 a very older firmware also guys we have ot update so you can just go to the updates and check update and if any notification available if any ot is available you will get a notification instantly here or anywhere here it will say is an update available so you can just download and dirty flash it right so up. guys now let's take a look at the changes done in this rom so let's go into the settings and all of the are the rom changes so are the c android settings and first we are going to take a look at the blur personalizations in the user interface so going into the blur you get the uh, three types of blur which is the blur status bar background the quick settings and the recent apps but i don't like the quick settings one because the quick settings looks yeah like really ugly but if you love you can just do it and so i will just disable this and show you how it works so this is the uh, notification panel which is blurred out also we have the recent apps and you can see the background has been blurred out so it looks really well if you're on a like other colored full background background sorry and then we also have the smart pixels mode so it will uh, enable smart pixels uh, if you enable the smart pixels it will just shift some uh, pixels often so it uh, also saves battery also we have the burn-in protection so you can just enable this i don't know much about smart pixels but let me try it out and i haven't tried out any of like before then we also have this fonts and 50 new fonts have been added by c Android. so yeah my favorite one is this uh, Google Sans so it just looks like a pixel device and now many of the Google apps will also come with this uh, Google Sans font so yeah let's take a look so yeah this is the pixel font and I really love it so guys many ROMs have implemented gestures in their like newer, newer builds and now we also have gestures in CR Droid so which type of let's see the navigation under gestures and we have the carbon gestures and edge gestures as well the edge gestures same thing uh, it's the same one it works well but yeah you can see the vibration and the delays very very often like sometimes it doesn't even like, work like how it should be but you can see uh, shit. So it doesn't work well but yeah it's okay you can just use it if you have to and if you are like really into and we also have the carbon gestures so if you know what's this uh, you can use this fingers for gestures also and what else we have Let's and guys see. that is for it for this new update with the c Android version 4.5 and yeah i hope c Android version 4.6 brings more new features like rounded corners and more stuff so yeah i expect it soon so i'll make a video if it's like worth making because like every version of c Android or every version of other roms it's very hard to make a video you know it's really hard to touch but yeah i will still try to make and Goodbye guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. I know you know how to install this because it's easy like other ROMs also. And if you are on CR Android, just flash it the latest version. I know you have been on XTA watching my thread, but yeah, that's great. Goodbye guys, I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Bye bye.